Hey guys, we're two peas in a prof. This weekend we went to PVD Fest. It is a art and music festival in downtown Providence. This was the fourth year, and we were pretty excited it was coming up. Uh, yeah, this was the third one we've gone to out of the four they've had so far, and it was a perfect summer day. It was like a little warm, but not too hot. It was really like clear skies, no rain. I uh, had a really good turnout. There was a ton of people. We actually met up with a lot of random different friends throughout the day, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of what it's like. It kind of draws everybody in the state around. So it was definitely a good time. We got there about one. Walked around. Uh, I saw my friend Mary Beth's portrait. She's a, a photographer, and every year her portraits are selected to be turned into murals for buildings. It was pretty cool to see that. <laughs> And this is one of the Mary Beth Meehan or Mary Beth Meehan portraits that are installed throughout the city. We were running around and we ran into a parade of what exactly? Uh, giant <laughs> blow up unicorns that were parading down, was it Washington Street? I think so, yeah. And uh, they ended up going into like this club called the Dark Lady. I think so. There was, there was kids. some kids playing in it and having some fun. And yeah, pretty much once we went by that, we went to the first music. The main stage, the main stage yeah. um, for the Dust Ruffles. They started their set at 1.30. Um, and I'm super into the music of these things. I go specifically for the bands. I want to see bands I know, my friends. Yeah. Um, I'm more into the food and the drinking and like the vendors and stuff that people are things that people are selling and looking at that kind of stuff i like music as more of a background to what i'm doing so it was cool i mean we saw a couple of the songs there Said, she spotted her favorite food truck. Frisky Fries. Um, usually Frisky Fries shows up at a lot of places in Providence and there's always a huge, huge line because everybody loves them. The french fries are amazing, but it's just like you end up waiting in line like for a really long time. So this truck like had hardly anyone at it, so we like bolted over there. And uh, we got the the number two, which is the Cluck U, which is buffalo chicken french fries. So they have like chunks of chicken on there. Buffalo sauce, blue cheese drizzled on it, and I don't eat meat, so he was able to pull the chicken chunks out and eat those. Uh, and then I just had the fries, so it was really good. We split it, so even though it was kind of a fatty, fatty fat thing to eat, yeah. it was, uh, we split it, so that was fine. I yeah. stayed for the full Dust Ruffle set, then we met up with some of our friends and happened down the street towards Kennedy Club. <laughs> Um, ran into the PCH Underground Cypher Squad and checked them out for a little bit. They're like a local rap team. Uh, they run a, a local radio show, which is pretty cool to see. Um, they were doing some break dancing and stuff. That was pretty cool. What up? My name is Pete. Welcome to my evolution. Yo, I need a resolution to stop being so effing stupid. I'm making better movies. Have a mental revolution. Fix the door these fires and I'm still searching to get solutions. I want some better music for you, myself included. I take a god of plan. I'm working on the execution. I look average rap and I am a better human. Different five years and came back like you'll never do it. I've got a plan to prove it. I hate the talking shit and talking shit is all it is and I'm ready to call it quits. I'm all forward but I am getting Exhausted. If we do an editor, then it has to be so metamorphic. It shakes the ground and the underground we live in it. Crack the foundation while flippers who get the written shit. It's still me, I'm still spitting with some viciousness, but I'm more than that, and you about to see the difference. <laughs> Welcome to PVD Fest. We're standing in front of City Hall, enjoying the sights and the heat. It's finally some good weather. There's a lot of food vendors, artists, a lot of different bands going on. It's 
it's been a great time so far and stick with us we got a lot more coming up for you Kennedy Plaza was basically a gigantic food court. They had food trucks everywhere. They had another crispy rice truck, I think. They did. So I got a Dell's, which was my first Dell's of the season. If you're a Rhode Islander, you know Dell's lemonade. It's a staple. Uh, I slipped a little bit of bourbon in there. That was tasty. It was like man candy. Um, then we made our way to Westminster Street. Uh, and on the way... That's we... where all the vendors were, right? Yeah. On the way, we passed like a dubstep DJ who had they, they had Dorrance Street blocked off, and a bunch of kids were like wiling out to the DJ. It was pretty funny. Yeah, this one kid was totally. Like he was into getting it. into. He was like doing the robot. So we made our way down to Westminster, checked out some of the art installations and. Uh, vendors. There was even like a living statue mermaid oh, at yeah. one point. That was cool. We can come back and look at all of this. Nicole picked up a sangria. We met up with my brother and then headed to the Matthewson Street stage for Consuelo's Revenge. So uh, Consuelo's Revenge played a set and Senior Discount followed them. It was nice for me. I know both those bands and we could just stay at one stage. Well, a man with a plan, yes, he would. stages we were getting hot so we started looking for somewhere to cool off and that's where we ended up at the malted barley which is fantastic she had been before it was my first time at the malted barley uh, we're gonna cut to a couple of clips of us talking about that place now hey folks we are at malted barley it's my first time here uh, we needed to cool off from PBD Fest it's really hot out right now so we're just like coming in for some air conditioning and a drink so uh, they specialize, it's kind of like a German beer hall type thing, and we got some delicious pretzels. I got a bacon cheddar pretzel with the beer cheese dressing. Let's take a look at that. And what do you get? I got the Chipotle. It's a stuffed pretzel with Chipotle and Gouda, and I have it with an apricot like kind of dipping thing. It looks really good. I'm hungry. Pretzel. Go in. What's the sauce like? Is it that apricot butter? It's apricot butter, yep. It's amazing. What are you eating? This is the bacon cheddar pretzel. And that's the beer cheese dressing. Like, look how thick it is and how it just sticks to the bagel. Or uh, pretzel. pretzel. It's a pretzel. This looks amazing. Pretzels! <laughs> they were so good. Oh my god. Uh, so, after that, we wandered a little bit. We ran into my friend Dennis Emsley, who's a local singer songwriter. He wasn't performing, but our mutual friend Steve Volkman was, which I had heard Steve was playing. I wasn't quite sure where it was going to be, but Dennis knew and. We tag along with Dennis for that. I'm a simple man. I got a simple plan to spend more time with you. It really doesn't matter all that much what we do. And we wandered a little bit more and uh, checked out lunch bag. Teddy, Teddy, 
what you say. Why? Because I'm cut from a different cloth. And that shit is not she. Hey, put them on now. Put them on now. Put them on now. Cross with me now. Yeah. And then lopsided as we were bumping into a bunch of our friends. So I made a full day of music and dragged her around to a lot of the music. Hey, what you know about that wake bake dominate smoking every minute? I hear them all talking about it, none of them showing they live it. They look at all of my pictures of somewhere up on the ceiling. If I'm ever in your town, I'm smoking out it. All I do is wake up, roll up, looking for a lot of us to hold up. You know, I got that fire, nigga, hold up. You know, me all Americans smoking on you. We did get some treaty goodness. She got a sangria and that coconut drink. Yeah, it's just this guy uh, has just coconuts that he hacks open, like with a machete. Uh, it's kind of scary. I don't know how he doesn't cut his hand off, but he must be doing this for a long time. And he just rips them open, sticks a straw in it, gives it to you. It was like seven bucks a coconut. And it was exactly the hydration I needed from the drinking and the heat and everything. So it was perfect. That coconut water was perfect. It was just unbelievable. Really good. Um, they they do that they did that in past years too I think I've gotten them before when we went before yeah. so I feel fun. like when we go she's on the lookout for that coconut, coconut vendor yeah. hell yeah I love coconut. <laughs> Um, and then we were still hanging out with a couple of our friends that we met up with and just a good time just wandering downtown. Around. And we just kind of wandered around the rest of the day and just took it all in. So I think from some of the clips we've shown, you're going to see uh, a bunch of people, some cool art, some cool music. Uh, PVD Fest is a fantastic time. And as you can tell, I'm wearing my Providence Small But Mighty shirt because we are. <laughs> Peace, guys. Until next time, we're two peas and a prof. See ya. Bye. <laughs>